Hey, welcome to React Native Schools class on building an API using a variety of tools. My name is Spencer, I'll be teaching this class. And throughout this class, the reason we're working on building an API for React Native School is because we need a way to get data off of our mobile device, off of an iOS device, an Android device, to a server we can persist it and so we can transport data between different devices so people can talk to each other. And basically, being a full stack developer, meaning someone who can work on the front end and the back end, is a super valuable tool. And throughout this, we're going to be using my preferred stack of tools, which is Next.js. That gives us API routes, which is where our API actually is. And it also gives us an easy way to host it and then to run it in our local environment and kind of just set up all the, the back end stuff that who really wants to work on. Uh, the other part we're going to be using is MongoDB as our database to store data. That's a schemaless document based data database that I've been using for quite some time and I really like. Uh, on top of MongoDB, we're going to be using Mongoose, which gives us a variety of benefits. It adds a schema to our schemaless database, but that allows us to have some validation rules in there. Uh, it gives us different hooks. These are all things we'll cover throughout the class. And then finally, we're going to be using Apollo Server to actually transport data from our server to the, Mon to the mobile device and from the mobile and from the mobile device to the server uh, and only passing the data we need by using GraphQL. It's one of my favorite tools. Uh, so with all that said, if you're interested in this, make sure you're relatively comfortable with JavaScript because we're just going to be diving into the JavaScript and learning how to use these different tools to build our API. So if this all sounds interesting to you, go ahead and follow along with this class. And I'll see you in the next lesson.